All right, here we go. Um, I just want to bring up something here. And this is... Uh, The root word for psychiatry. According to vocabulary .com, the noun psychiatrist has Greek roots in psychiatry, mind, and iatria, meaning healing. So the word psychiatrist is literally one who heals the mind. Did y'all hear that? Oh, let me let me get it going again. I'm gonna read it to you. It says. And again, this is the root word for psychiatry. It says the noun psychiatrist has Greek roots in psyche, meaning mind, and itria, meaning healing. So the word psychiatrist is literally one who heals the mind, right? Now, I beg to differ. I think Almighty God heals the mind, Amen. you know? Psychiatrists, maybe they can, it's a placebo effect of sort, you know? Not saying they can't do, uh, 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 make a difference, but Almighty God is the one that heals and will certainly deliver if you seek him out. I just wanted to bring that out. And again, it says uh, it's a... Uh, 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 It's a Greek root word, psyche. So, yeah, with that stated. All right, so the next thing we got is uh, and I think because our system, we can't pull this stuff up. So it's, it's kind of messing me up a little bit in my lesson because the next thing I had here was uh, it's the real problem with psychiatry. Let me see if I can pull up on my phone, man, because I, I hate to be uh, be duped. You know, I, when you, you prepare your lesson and you want it to go off without a hitch, then things like this happen. That's trying to, and you try to throw a monkey wrench in the game. But me, I'm stubborn. I don't like to be defeated. Okay, so here, <clears throat> this is, uh, says the Atlantic, the real problem with psychiatry, psychiatry, psych, psychiatric piece contends that the D, DSM, psychiatry's Bible, that defines all mental illness is not scientific, but a product of unscrupulous politics and bureaucracy. Okay. It says, this is Wikimedia's Commons. It says, on May 22nd, America Psychiatric Association will release the fifth diagnostic and statistical manual of mental disorders. Uh, requires a meeting. Bear with me here. Uh, hold on, well. One second. I had it all mapped out, but as, as I stated. Uh, let's see. It says, how has the DSM evolved to become seen as the authoritative medical guide to all the mental suffering? It says, the credibility of psychiatry is tied to its nosology. nosology. What developed over time is the number of diagnoses, and the more importantly, the method by which diagnostic categories are established. And it goes on to say the DSM list disorders have, how are disorders different from disease or illnesses? The difference between disease and disorder is an attempt on the part of psychiatry to evade the problem they're presented with. Disease is a kind of suffering that caused by a biochemical pathology, something that can be discovered and targeted with magic, with magic bullets. But in many cases, 
our suffering can't be diagnosed that way. Psychiatrist, psychiatry, excuse me, was in the crisis in the 1970s over questions like, what is a mental illness? And what mental illness exists? One of the first things they did was to try to finesse the problem with the problem that no mental illness met that definition of a disease. They had yet to identify what the pathogen was, what the disease process consists of, and how to cure it. So they created a category called disorder. It is, can you tell them to keep it down? It is rhetorical, it is a rhetorical device. It's saying it is a sort of like a disease but not calling it a disease because all the other doctors will jump down their throats asking, where's your blood test? And the reason there haven't, there haven't been any sensible findings. Trying to genetic, tri, excuse me, tying genetics or any kind of molecular biology to DSM categories is not only that our instruments are crude, but also that the DSM categories aren't real. It's like using a map of the moon to find your way around Russia. Okay? So there you have it. Okay? So you can go run into these psychiatrists and, you know, again, I don't subscribe you not go and look into things if that's the level of, of, of treatment is needed and somebody's out there to help you, please, by all means, go get that help. But ultimately, seek the true and living God, first and foremost, okay? Okay? So that's that. We're going we're gonna to keep it moving. Then we're going to go to Genesis 6. Now we're back to the, to the truth. Genesis chapter 6. And we're going to pick it up at verse 5. Genesis chapter 6, and we're going to pick it up at verse 5. See what Almighty God got to say about these things. Go ahead, brother. Genesis 6, verse 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth. Mm -hmm. And that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Yeah. So God saw it like that. Okay. And as we know, our flesh is trying to kill us daily. You know, we're in the world, but we shouldn't be of the world. And if you're in the world and you, you get caught up, and, and being part of the world, you got problems. And ain't no ordinary problems. Your problem rests with Almighty God in judgment of Almighty God. Christ Jesus. Right? So, just recognize the fact that, you know, what man state to be and God, what God states to be. You know, and God going to gonna trump man all day okay so we're just keeping it real here let's go to Romans turn with me family to Romans <clears throat> Romans chapter 12 and we're going to pick it up at verse 2. When you get it, brother, please hit it. Romans chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So there it is. What is God's will? You need to know that. We need to first find out what's the will of God. And then 
try to perfect it. Although you won't make it, you won't get there. But again, the title of this lesson is get aligned with Jesus. Or else. Because Jesus, Jesus is our example. And we must be Christ-like. And you won't, you won't perfect this thing. Thus, there's judgment. Right? Okay. Hey, I need y'all to be quiet in there. Can you tell them to take that off the speaker? Please. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I think they heard me. I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> okay. Where we leave off at, bro? Read that back. Please. Right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. 12 verse 2. Mm -hmm. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Yeah, so it's something that we must prove, family. We must prove this to Almighty, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Prove that we're worthy. Okay? And thereby we'll be accepted. Let's, go, let's turn up to 8. I mean, back to uh, chapter 8, verse 6. Romans chapter 8, verse 6. Read. Romans 8, verse 6. For to be carnally minded is death. Is death. Go ahead. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. It's life and peace. So it's, a, it's, it's well worth the effort because there's nothing more important than eternal salvation. Nothing. So therefore, it's well worth it to strive for perfection, right? And so we need to each and every day work on ourselves to perfect this thing, okay? And stop worrying about the next man, okay? The works of the flesh, because that's all that is. How can you perfect yourself? You know? Ain't nobody going to get salvation for me. Nobody going to get it for you, brother. We got to get it for ourselves. And that entails not letting nobody get you cut off. Not letting nobody push your button. You know? Because Satan's busy. And he'll do it right in your very household. How y'all scrapping? <laughs> Call the police! Ah! <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, man. And you got to recognize your every dealing. What I tell, always tell, always say, your every dealing, as idle as it may seem, is spiritual. Because all it takes is plenty of people locked up today and there's plenty of people pushed in the dirt today because of one word. Somebody says something to them. You know, I told the story last week. My son was in the, in, the, in the currency exchange in the city. Friend he went in with, turned around, looked at a guy that's in line. The guy said, what you looking at? Pulled a gun out, stuck it to both of their heads. What? In the currency exchange. You know what I mean? So it's just Satan busy. Let's go. All right. Um, didn't shoot him, though, God. Man, hallelujah. But it just goes to show you that, and again, that's a disorder. We got, we got a lot of mental disorder in our neighborhood. We walk amongst the dead, right? They spiritually dead. And folks will take you out and won't think to go home and have a bowl of cereal right thereafter. I'm telling you, I'm from them streets that I know. I had partners like that. I myself 
felt that I could easily have been one of them. But, oh, man, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for, you know, calling me, choosing me. All right, let's go before I start crying. All right. <laughs> I got you back. Yeah, all right, bro. <laughs> okay, we're moving. We're going we're gonna to go to uh, 1 Corinthians 4. Yeah, because, I mean, life ain't no joke, man. It's not a joke. And things going to get serious real quick. These are a lot of times, family. Expect the worst. Don't be out here thinking, oh, it's, it's, it's sweet. Oh, it's going to get better. Expect the worst. You, you, you in a del you delusional if you run around here thinking, it ain't so bad. Oh, it's going to be all right. No, I mean, I know. I know people don't need or don't want problems. We don't, don't nobody want problems. But we need to be, you know, with reality. The reality is, it's funky out here. It's funky, and it's going to get funky. -er. You heard me? I hope not. But certain things are just simply prophetic. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, we're at 1 Corinthians 4. We're going to pick up at verse 4. Go ahead, brother. Read. 1 Corinthians 4, verse 4. For I know nothing by myself, yet am I not hereby justified. But he that judgeth me is the Lord. He that judgeth me is the Lord. And I know nothing by myself. Okay? The Lord, the Lord, didn't, and, every, and you know nothing by yourself. All right? He directs your path. Amen? Amen. Yeah, because we could, you know, we we shouldn't take nothing for granted. You know? Lord, he, he made us, in a sense, perfect. You know, you, we all can use our legs. We all can use the fingers that we the Lord gave us. I mean, most of us anyway. Folks that I see here look like y'all all right. Huh? Came in, eyes moving. You can talk. You can wiggle a little bit if you wanted to. Mm. Come on. I mean, we, we good. You got some people that, that wish they can do certain things. That old story, you know, a man, you know, he complaining. And he, he ain't got no arms. And then he looked down and, whoa, lo and behold, there's a man with no leg and no arms. Huh? We got to be thankful. I'm telling you. Some people ain't, somebody ain't make it past last night. Somebody out of here was just here yesterday, gone today. And it can happen to any of us in the moment, in the twinkling of eye. Okay. I need to make these things clear. I mean, that's why I stand here to, to let folks know that this, this, is, this is serious business. Huh? I know, you know, we can let it get past us sometimes. We can think, oh, well, it ain't that bad. You know, the mind, the heart is, what it say, desperately wicked. Who can know it? Thinking it's sweet. It ain't sweet. Don't you let your guards down. All right. 2 Corinthians 10. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Verse 1. Like Jeremiah said, man, it's fire set up in my bones. You know, I was just, I just, I was just in the store yesterday. I saw a, a, a young man. And, and just to go to show you, you know, how we all got work to do. A young man who was, who was 
shopping for deodorant, right, for somebody, I don't know who it was to him, it was blind, couldn't do it for himself, he was helping him. It might have been a family member, husband, whomever, I don't know. <clears throat> so I thought to myself, man, hey, allow me to share something with you. And I gave him one of them. My, 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 my calling card, the word of God, you know, because, you know, that's what we need to do. We need to spread the gospel. This is the time to, to you know, people out here hurting, you know. And, and my point is, now this was an Israelite. This is so-called black individuals there, right, that I did that to. I was blind. And I'm saying, man, don't, if don't nobody need the word of God, they probably need it. You know, you never know. Cause I ain't blind, and I, boy, I, I figure if I was, I would need all the help I can get. Right? So then I continue on my shopping, and here it is, another blind person. Happen to be a Gentile. You know? And what I do? Pull the card out, but I was apprehensive about passing it. You know, I was I just call it ratio or whatever. But I, I held the card. Now and something was telling me, hey, just give him the card. But I was I couldn't bring myself to do it. So I'm just bringing a point out to say, you know, this flesh, you know. Satan was, and then that, that individual may have needed it more. You dig? But it was a two of the same and it and it and it struck me just like that. And then they walked away, and then I said, oh, I can't, uh, let me just go. You know, I'm just saying that with y'all, you know what I'm saying? All these things to me are spiritual. Spiritual every day in my life, when my, all, all my interactions. If I interact with you, 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 it's spiritual. I look at it as such, you know? Okay, all right, where we at? <laughs> Corinthians 10, 1 to 18. I just had to share that. 2 Corinthians 10, and we're going to pick up at verse 1, and we're going to read, read a bit. So let me go. Let's go, brother. Move. 2 Corinthians 10, verse 1. Now I, Paul, myself, beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, whom in presence am based among you, mm -hmm. but being absent and bold toward you. Yeah, being absent, I'm bold towards you. But in the present, what does it say? It says, <clears throat> let me read that back. It says, now I, Paul, myself, beseech you my, by the meekness and gentleness of Christ. So the gentleness of Christ, right? So again, we want to we stay in line with Christ. We, we need to be gentle, right? It says, who in presence am base among you. You know, I'm, 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 I'm low. I'm base. I'm you know, I ain't all high, you know, uh, high and mighty. But being absent and bold towards you. So when I come near you, I'm 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 gentle. But when I'm away, I'm I'm hey man, y'all better be on it, man. You know, because sometimes people need motivation. Okay? Says so <clears throat> I'm bold towards you. Verse two, read. Verse two. But I beseech you. That I may not be bold when I am present with that confidence mm -hmm. wherewith I think to be bold against some. I think to be bold against some because some, some people need that boldness. Some people, you know, you have certain people going to handle certain things, you know. Kind of reminds me like when you say you got a dog, you, you got a certain dog, like my dog right now, you know, I can, man, I shouldn't say this, but I can. Punch him in the head. Stop it. And he'll still keep coming. You know. But then you got certain dogs that's real timid. You do that. Now they they, they peeing all on, the, on your foot. You know. And now they, they, they scurrying. And so, you know, with that in mind, you know, you, certain people can handle certain things. So you need to judge it accordingly. Uh, continue, brother. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Wherewith, I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. Mm -hmm. For though we walk in the flesh, 
We do not war after the flesh. See, so he's saying, man, to some, to think that I'm down with this flesh, I need to be bold. I need to let them know, uh-uh. It ain't about that. Continue. Verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, uh -huh. but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Have mercy, Lord. Have mercy. Go ahead. Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Every thought. You know, bringing all that, 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 that pride. You know, that's, that's, that's most of our problems. We got pride. Ain't nobody going to tell me what to do. I wish he, you know, let him try me. What about me? Who are you looking at? <laughs> you know what I mean? Pride. Go ahead. Verse 6. And having in a readiness. A readiness. In a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Mm-hmm. So, Do, yeah. So, so, yeah. We got to be ready. Go ahead, brother. I'm going to try not to stop you no more. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, man. I told you the thing set up in my bones. Go ahead, brother. Please. Verse 7. Do ye look on things after the outward appearances? Mm -hmm. Like I did. I looked on things the outward. I mean, I'm telling y'all, I, I felt like, man, brother, you know, you got work to do. Do better the next time. Just saying. Go ahead. If any man trust to himself that he is Christ, let him of himself think this again, that as he is Christ, even so are we Christ. Mm -hmm. For though I should boast, 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 some, boast someone, somewhat, mm -hmm. more of our authority, which the Lord has given us for edification mm -hmm. and not for your destruction, mm -hmm. I should not be ashamed. No, no. Go ahead. That I might not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. Yeah. For his Word. letters. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say they are weightly and powerful, but his bold bodily presence is weak and his speech contemptible. Mm -hmm. Let such an one think this, that such as we are in word by letters when we are absent, such will we be also indeed when we are present. Yeah, so we send y'all letters and we send you uh, 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 notice from, from afar, you know, you know, but when we in the presence, we, what does it say? Here it says, let such a one think this, that such as we are in word by letters when we are absent, such will we be also indeed when we are present, you know. We're bringing it. Go ahead. Verse 12. For we dare not make ourselves of the number or compare ourselves with some that command themselves. Mm -hmm. But they measure, they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves mm -hmm. are not wise. No, no. They're like, like you think you're something. Like your, your, your bookie don't stink. Go ahead. I said it. Go ahead. Read. Verse 13, but we will not boast of things without our measure, but according to the measure of the rule which God have distributed to us, a measure to reach even unto you. Yeah, so he's got the, he's got the measuring stick. You know, we measure our deeds according to his will. Continue. Verse 14. For we stretch not ourselves beyond our measure, mm -hmm. as though we reach not unto you. For we are come as far as to you also in preaching the gospel of Christ. Hallelujah. Not boasting of things without our measure that is of other men's labors, but having hope when your faith is increased, that we shall be enlarged by you according to to our rule abundantly mm -hmm. to ahead. preach the gospel in the regions beyond you mm -hmm. and not to boast 
and other men's line of things made ready to our hand. Mm -hmm. But he that glorifieth, let him glory in the Lord. All right, so we're going to glory. We're going to glory all day. We, we got to make sure if we glory, we ain't glory in this old body that's going to, in this fleshly body that going to give up the ghost one day and stink somewhere, some somehow. We got to glorify Almighty God, you know. And, and, and that's hard for a lot of men to do. A lot of men, you know, feel like, you know, man, I'm, 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 I'm this, I'm that. When in actuality, we just, with dirt from dust to dust. Born of the dust and you're going to die and go to the dust. You know, continue. Verse 18. For not he that commandeth himself is approved, but whom the Lord commandeth. Yeah, so there it is, you know. It's all about, you know, Almighty God. Right now, and, and again, because we're, we, we're man and we, we, we get caught up in ourselves, you know, who we think we are. And, you know, man, I look good. Now, I tell God all the time, man, looking good can be a curse. You know, all kind of, you know, uh, uh, opposite sex coming, sometimes the same sex. Coming at you, you know. So now you got to, you know, you got almost. I mean, yeah. This, this, we got to be careful out here, man. We got to be careful. Okay, verse. Uh, we're gonna jump down to chapter eleven, right? Same book, chapter eleven. Start at verse one, brother. Go ahead. Second Corinthians eleven, verse one. Would to God ye could bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me. Mm -hmm. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Yeah, so, uh, you know, bear with me in my folly. Because, you know, he, he was like, well, you know, man, you know, I, I'm, I'm saying all this stuff to y'all, but, you know, maybe y'all look at it in a certain way, but, hey. But what I'm telling y'all is the real. It says, for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, you know, because God is a jealous God, right? You know, if he having me bring this to you, man, y'all y'all blessed. For I have espoused you to a husband, the one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. You know? That marriage. Marriage to almighty God. Right? Y'all want to make the wedding, man. All right. Uh, three. Go ahead. Verse three. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Mm -hmm. For if he that cometh preaching another Jesus. See, if he cometh preaching another Jesus. Right? And there's another Jesus out there being preached to you. Going, them, them buildings going to be full. Well, maybe not. Now at this time, a certain decree is out. But y'all know folks are going to be hearing that other Jesus tomorrow. All you got to do is believe on them and go about your merry way and you're saved. Continue. It's, it's another Jesus. It's a false Jesus. Not the true and living. Elohim. Go ahead, brother, please. Verse 4. For if he that cometh preaching another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if ye receive another spirit, which ye have not received, or another gospel, which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Yeah, might well bear with him. Yeah, meaning, yeah, don't get with them. Yeah. Be, be against them. Let them go. Yeah. yeah. Go about your business. But certainly don't partake with them. All right? Uh, we, we're good there. Okay. Let's, uh, let's keep it moving. Let's go to Ephesians. I 
I would call this the halfway point, fam. <clears throat> Give or take. <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 4. And we're going to pick it up at verse 17. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17. You get it, Israel, go ahead. Hit it. 17, please. Ephesians 4, verse 17. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk. Or any nations. Go ahead. In the vanity of their mind, mm -hmm. having the understanding darkened, being alienated, 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 alienated mm -hmm. from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. Yeah, from the blindness of their mind, they're ignorant. Through the blindness of their mind. Okay, so don't walk as they walk. Okay. We can't, we can't, those of us that's in the truth, we can't walk out in these streets and, and see, you know, the masses doing certain things and think that it's cool for us to do it, okay? We're not, we're not, we're in the world, but we're not of the world, right? Continue. Verse 19, who being past feeling, have given themselves over unto lasciviousness, lasciviousness, mm -hmm. to work all uncleanness with greediness. Mm -hmm. But ye have not so learned Christ, and so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Jesus. Amen. That ye put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Mm -hmm. So you're putting off that, You, I mean, if you're on this walk, you are not to, to do about face. It ain't even good for you to even, even uh, 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 reminisce on old times, for real, okay? You need to just keep it moving, forward, move forward, okay? Because the old man, the old ways are dead, and you're going to leave it right there, dead. Because it can creep back up on you. Continue. And be, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Mm -hmm. And that ye put on the new man, which after God is cre created in righteousness and true holiness. And true holiness. Righteousness and true holiness. And we know righteousness is of the law. Right? Okay. Um, we're good there. Let's go. Let's go to uh, Colossians. Colossians chapter 1. Al, we weren't able to get that together, were we? Okay. We had Colossians. Colossians chapter 1, verse 9. And once again, we're going to read a bit. Colossians chapter 1. Pick it up at verse 9, brother. Go ahead, please. Colossians chapter 1, verse 9. For this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, mm -hmm. and to desire that ye might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. So you need wisdom, knowledge, and understanding with this God. Okay? This ain't that old, you know, all you got to do is go and believe on God and, you know, and just... Walk and go about your merry way. We got to follow precepts around here. 
okay? Otherwise, you're going to get caught up, okay? This, is, this here is, 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 is a, a law book, and it's a book, it's a guide book, as well as a history book. Guides you to the kingdom, family. Follow it. This is more precious to me than anything I got. Try to take this from me. Uh, I don't recommend it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, go ahead, brother, please. Verse 10. That ye might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work. In every good work. Go ahead. And increasing in the knowledge of God. See, we should be increasing in the knowledge of God. Increasing. Keep it moving. Keep growing in the knowledge of God because it's going to come a day where this, this, this thing is going to be like, you're going to be sought after for this knowledge. Sought in a good way at a time and sought in a bad way at another time. So you want to get this. Okay? Get it as much as you can. Okay, because we know some. It's gonna, there's some dark days ahead. You are gonna need all the knowledge of Almighty God that you can get. So keep it, keep it increasing. Keep, keep, keep growing with this thing. Continue, brother. Verse eleven. Strengthen with all might, mm -hmm. according to His glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering with joy, joyfulness. Yeah, so we're going we to suffer long with joyfulness, knowing that, hey, you know, you're going you're gonna to reap a righteous man's reward if you suffer long. Bear your cross. Okay, again, the title of this lesson, Get Aligned with Jesus or Else. Because, see, we don't really have no choice. Some might make you think you got a choice. Ain't nobody got no choice. You're going to either get, you're going to get down or lay down. as the old movie say, right? Uh, I knew you, I knew you know that. Yeah, and that's real. I mean, you're going to live forever, one way or the other. Eternal bliss or eternal damnation. Choose life. Let's roll. Go ahead. What you got? Verse 12. Give it thanks unto the Father which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light, mm -hmm. who have delivered us from the power of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go ahead. And have translated us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sin, mm -hmm. who is the image of the invisible God, mm -hmm. the firstborn of every creature. For by him were all things created. By who were all things created? Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody knows something. Best to recognize. <laughs> Go ahead. That are in heaven and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thorns. Whether or they dominions. be thrones. Thrones, my bad. No, it's all good. Go ahead, brother. Or dominions. Mm-hmm. Or principalities mm -hmm. or powers. Yeah. All things were created by him and for him. Even today's troubles. But y'all running around with the mask on your face. You know, you know all this come from, right? Almighty. Almighty still in control. Recognize that. Continue. Verse 17. And he is before all things. Mm-hmm. And by him all things consist. Mm -hmm. And he is the head of the body, mm -hmm. the church. Hey, man. The church is the people. Israel. We are the church. Okay? A building is a building. I just want to make that clear. Go ahead. Who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have preeminence. 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 Mm-hmm. Verse 19, mm -hmm. for it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. Yeah, Jesus, all fullness dwell. 
Everything that is, is. Go ahead. And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to recon reconcile yes, sir. all things unto himself, by him I say, yeah. whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. Mm -hmm. And you, that were sometime alienated mm -hmm. and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now have he reconciled. Yeah, he did away with those wicked uh, 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 the sacrificial laws and wicked works, you know. Go ahead. In the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable. To present you holy and unblameable. Go ahead. And unprovable in his sight. Yes, sir. If you continue in faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which ye have heard and which are was preached to every creature which is under heaven whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. Yeah, like I am made a minister to minister God's almighty word. It ain't nothing that I did on my own. It's just happened, you know, and that's, that's how almighty God works, man. You know, he'll pull the worst of us out them streets and put us somewhere in somebody's face kicking his word. And I, man, I, I'm telling you, I, I don't glory myself. Because, man, no, man, I could have, I had a few close calls in my life. I ain't supposed to be here. One time I was in the ocean in California with my pride. Jumped in the, in the ocean, in the surface part. I was wondering where was the surface at, but I ain't know it was because of the high tide. And I, I'm from I'm from Chicago. I, I swam in the lake before, but it was this pretty girl that my friend had just met. Her name was Star. I'm gonna tell a story. That was a, that what they call a star. So I'm gonna show off, man. I, I'm a good swimmer. I jumped my butt in that ocean, and I, I God is my witness. I must have went about four blocks out, half a mile. Rip tie hitting me. I ain't know what was going on. I ain't never dealt with no water like that before. But I can swim. But the harder I stroke, every time I come up and can see without the salt water, you know, hindering my eyesight, I can see them getting smaller and smaller. Homie! <laughs> Homie! And I'm out there and I'm just stroking. And I'm praying. You know, I, I guess I'm praying. But through the grace of God, because they say you got to come in on an angle. I was coming, I was trying to come in to them. But shoot, God said, hey, you better stop looking at them. You better keep stroking. And he brought me in. But I was a little ways down from him because I came in on the angle. Just so if y'all didn't know, that's how you deal with them tides. You got to come in on it. And hallelujah. So that's just a story. But that's just one. But I'm blessed to be here, man. You know, when I think of a little my my life, woo man, I can cry on y'all up here. Let's go. Verse twenty four. Yes, sir. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions mm -hmm. of Christ in my flesh for His body's sake, which is the church. Which is the church. It says yeah. Who now rejoice in my sufferings for you and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions of Christ in my flesh for his body's sake, for the church, which is the church. So, yeah. So, you know, um, I always say, man, you, you, can't, you can't be weak in this thing. Okay? This thing ain't for the faint of heart. Okay, we gotta we gotta muster up. You gotta gird up your loins, and you gotta be ready for the battle, cause it's coming. And if you don't know now, you know, you know. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, let's jump down to verse twenty-eight. Twenty-eight, please, bro. Can you get verse twenty-eight. It? Yeah. Whom we preach. Warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom. In all wisdom of Almighty God. 
Not all wisdom of man, all wisdom of this this uh, belief and that belief. God Almighty's word out this out this book, the King James. If you need no, that's what it is. Go ahead. That we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. Yeah, because this is an instruction manual, family. Go ahead. Whereunto I also labor, striving according to his working, which worketh in me mightily. Work up in me mightily. So yeah, so I'm I'm trying to get it too. Paul was trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. You're gonna be trying to get it. We all need to just keep trying to get it. And don't quit. All right? Endure to the end. Because this is an endurance thing. It's just like you me being in that ocean. I could have just gave up. Cause man, I, man, when I sit and I recall, I I could have, you know, I ain't never been in no ocean, man. I, and, man, you know how deep the ocean is? <laughs> huh? Way deep. You know, when I think about what I actually went through and how far out I went, and I could be exaggerated. Maybe I was two blocks. <laughs> but I was out there. And I'm telling you, man, if you haven't, you ain't never been in a riptide, what happens is you, you bring your head up and you think you're going to swim and another wave come and pounce you. <laughs> so when you come back up, you look and be like, man, I was over there, now I'm back here. And every time it pounce you, you come up and you further out. It tripped me out. So I got scared. <laughs> and I'm telling you, when I got out that water, you know what I did? What? With my tough self, all my pride, <laughs> they got the little shower on the beach. I went and showered up. Come on, man, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we just got here. I'm, I'm ready to go. I ain't thinking about that girl. It's not and everything, I'm going to know. I wasn't, I, wasn't, I wasn't handsome at that time. You know, <laughs> like, yeah, this flesh, man. We. No, that's a true story. And I got some. That's just one of the least. Uh, yeah, anyway, let's go. Okay, uh, we, we good, brother, right? Where we at? We're gone. Okay, we're going to move. We're going to go to Hebrews. And this is, a, we should flow through real quick with these. Uh, Hebrews 12. <clears throat> But I appreciate y'all coming out this Sabbath. Amen. And supping with us. <clears throat> All praises to the Most High God. Hebrews 12, and verse 3. Hit it. Hebrews 12, verse 3. For consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, mm -hmm. that she be weird and faint in your minds. Yeah. Consider that and, and let you be weary and faint in your minds. You know? Consider what Christ went through. Consider his sufferings. Consider how blessed you are to, to have a, 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 a understanding. If, if, if not a, a inkling of understanding. You're you here. You know something. You 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 better off here than anywhere else in the world right now. That's why they talking about essential. What they talking about? This ain't essential, huh? Y'all better stop playing. Better ask somebody. Yeah. More essential than anything I can think of. Amen. Ain't nothing like eternal salvation and, and the know-how to get it. You know? Hey, all right, all right. All right, we're going to move. Let's go. Uh, First Peter chapter 5. Man, all messed up, man. They'll make you believe that they, they, they got a handle on this and a handle on that. Man ain't got a handle on Jack. Huh? <clears throat> I certainly ain't fooled. First Peter, chapter 5, verse 8. Hit it. 
First Peter chapter five, verse eight. Be sober, be vigilant, vigilant. Go ahead. Because be of your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And you need to know that. Hmm. Okay. That's 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 it. Yeah. Just know that Satan is busy. If you didn't know, he. You know now. All right. Uh. Okay. Romans fifteen. Romans chapter fifteen. We moving. We moving. Romans fifteen. Pick it up at verse 13. 15 and 13. When you get it, Brother Gerald, please go ahead, read, please. Romans 15, verse 13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing. And believing. So know that, let that be, you know, a bit of solace to you. That you believe. Go ahead. That ye may abound in hope. Amen. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. Through the power of the Holy Ghost. Through the Holy, uh, through the, through the, the, the Holy Epistles. Through the, your, <laughs> the Word of Almighty God. All right? There's power in the Word of Almighty God. Let's move. Romans 5. Chapter 2, I mean, chapter 5, verse 2, excuse me. <clears throat> Go ahead, brother. Romans 5, verse 2. Pick it up at 1. Verse 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, yes by whom also we have access by faith into his grace, mm -hmm. wherein we, we stand. By the blood of Jesus, right? Uh-huh, go ahead. Now and we stand. Go ahead. And rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. And not only so, but we glory in tri tribulations also. And we glory in tribulations also, in the troubles that uh, beseech, beseech us, that, that's going to come. And if, they, if you ain't experienced anything, just know that trouble's going to come. Okay? Jacob's trouble, even, is going to come. You know? And you need to, you need to know how to, 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 to withstand the fiery darts of Satan. Because we ain't seen nothing yet. I mean, nothing. Literally. Go ahead. Knowing that tribulation work of patience mm -hmm. and patience experience and experience hope. Mm -hmm. As and Christ did. Yeah. You know, he, he, he learned some patience and he gathered hope during all his trying times. So, well, as again, we must bear our cross and we must, you know, again, as the title in, in, entails, get aligned with Jesus. Or else. Continue. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Mm -hmm. The Holy Ghost which is given to us. The word of Almighty God. Right? So, it's no light thing. All right, let's go. Let's move. Let's go to Deuteronomy 31. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter 31. Deuteronomy chapter 31. I'm going to pick up at verse 6. When you get it, brother, please go ahead and read. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doeth, that doth go with thee, he will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. That's right. 
Be, of, be strong and of good courage. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm standing before you telling you today. We must be strong and of good courage, knowing that Almighty God is with thee, if you indeed are worthy of Almighty God's hedges that he'll put before you and protect you with. Okay? So you, that, that gives you reason not to go out and, 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 and fool yourselves. Okay? Because you you can you can lead before your your brother and your sisters and go out there and be something terrible, but Almighty God eyes are out there. You know, you can fool me, but you can't fool him. You can fool anybody, but you can't fool Almighty God. So we need to we need to recognize the fact that hey, everything we do is going to be put on Front Street, and He may just take you out. For your doings, of wicked your wicked ways, all right. So that stand for us all. We good, we good, brother. Where we at? Yeah, we good. Okay. Isaiah forty. Isaiah forty. It is. Let's go to Isaiah chapter forty, fam. We about about there. Isaiah chapter forty. <laughs> And again, as I read earlier, you know, with all our personality disorders and traits, because some of us even get traits passed down, you know, disorders of, of sort, you know. <clears throat> Ultimately, you know, if you have a somewhat of a sound mind, you know, you see Christ and, you know, he'll see you through. He is that bomb of Gilead. Amen. Okay? That's the doctor that you need to seek. Dr. Jesus. All right? <clears throat> you there, brother? We're at uh, Isaiah 41. We're going to pick it up at verse 10. Uh, Isaiah 40, verse 31. Oops. Yeah, what he said. 40, verse 31. I'm sorry. I'm jumping it. Go ahead, brother. Read. Isaiah 40, verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. That's it. Okay. So let's, let's jump. Let's go down to 41 and 10. 41, verse 10. Read. 41, verse 10. Fear thou not. Fear thou not. For I am with thee. Be not dismayed. For I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Yeah, of his, with the right hand of his righteousness. His law is righteousness. Right? So abide by his laws. You're going to be all right. You got Almighty God, you know, as 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 a protector. Okay? Wielding that sword is what it is, you know. <clears throat> Vengeance is mine. So when you get into your 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 selfish ways, you, and, and somebody is trying to vex your spirit, you know, bow down. Right? It says turn the other cheek, meaning just, hey, know that Almighty God gonna take care of business. You ain't gotta necessarily turn the other cheek, just walk away. You're like, okay. Okay. Somebody trying to belittle you. It ain't that it ain't it ain't up to you to go and try to belittle them back. Learn to walk away. Learn to walk away. Because God sees it all. Okay? And he's for the righteous. So, be that. All right, we're going to Proverbs. You done there, bro? Amen. All right, Proverbs 23. 
And we all got work to do, fam. We all got work to do. This ain't just for one individual. This is for the whole gamut, us all. Because ain't no man perfect. Okay? Proverbs 23 and 18. Go ahead, brother. Proverbs 23, verse 18. For, for surely there is an end, mm -hmm. and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Yeah. There's an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. Know that there's an end. Good or bad, there's an end. Okay? You just want to be on the on, on the righteous side of things. Okay, let's let's go to Jeremiah. Got one more after this. <clears throat> Jeremiah 17. Jeremiah 17. <clears throat> We're going to pick it up at verse 7, 17 and 7. Read. Jeremiah 17, verse 7. Blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord, and whose hope the Lord is. Yeah. Simple as that. Plain scripture. Okay? Those are the blessed. Hoping in the Lord. Keep it, keep it locked. Okay, Proverbs. Chapter 10. Last chapter. Last verse. Well, last chapter. Proverbs. Chapter 10. We're going to pick up at verse 27. When you get it, brother, go ahead and read. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 27. The fear of the Lord prolongeth days. Hey, go ahead. But the years of the wicked shall be shortened. Yeah. So you heard what the word of God says, you know, if, if, uh, 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 if you dishonor your, your, your parents, you know, your days will be shortened or numbered. You know what I mean? Some some young short legs out here have been being cut cut off for that very same reason, you know, and don't even recognize, you know, why. You may have got flipped with your parents. I'm just saying, you know, it's just little simple things, you know. And your parent could probably be 80 years old, and you still their child. So if you're 50 or 60, you still need to be careful. I'm just bringing that point out. Go ahead. Verse 28. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectations of the wicked shall perish. Yeah. Go ahead. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be, be to the workers of iniquity. Yeah. To sinners, destruction is going to come. You know, you may, you may see them those individuals out there the sinning good. You know, like, man, they're untouchable. They always look like they got it going on. But, hey, destruction will come. It's en route. Know that. Not that you want to wish anything bad on anybody. But the word of God going to surpass it. All. It's going to stand. Go ahead. The righteous should never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. No, no. Go ahead. The, you heard that, right? The earth. Kingdom on earth. Go ahead. That's what that's that's it. You know? Nobody trying to we ain't gonna we ain't gonna get to the third heaven. Feet gonna descend, we're gonna come down and split the Mount of Olivet. East of Jerusalem. Earth. Okay. So shall he ever be. All right, uh, 31. Go ahead. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom. Yeah, wisdom. Where, where we get wisdom from? The, the word, word of God. Continue. But the forward tongue shall be cut off. 
cut out. That's it. And there you have it. Get aligned with Jesus or else. I thank you for your time. Now we're going to have the reading of today's Sabbath announcement. This is here at the Israel's Church of the Living God. If this is your first visit,